Every Way Woman presents what every woman and man should know about choosing the right breast cancer facility. Welcome to Every Way Woman. We're talking all things breast cancer. If you found a lump in your breast, would you know where to start? We'd like to welcome Dr. Kapoor to the show to guide us through the experience. Where would one begin? So first things, you're in control. It's not something to be scared about. Most lumps are not going to be breast cancer, but you need to get it checked out. You need to go to a physician and have someone evaluate you. So where do you even start in that process in choosing a facility? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things to think about. Sometimes you want to think about, oh, I just go to my primary care and get it checked out. That's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. You can also go to a more comprehensive place that has imaging, surgery, and all the other things that, that you might need. Okay. Um, so if, let's say, because um, right now we're talking about you found a lump in your breast. Right. right? You're doing a self-examination. Mm -hmm. You feel something. It doesn't feel normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, then would you then go to your general practitioner and say, you know, I think I found this thing, and then they send you to someone, or do mm -hmm. you just start looking for someone on your own? Mm -hmm. You can go either way. If you have a good relationship with your physician, you can certainly go to that person Well, first. and I know a lot of yes. insurance policies require yeah. you to have a referral. Absolutely, absolutely. But if you could go to a specialist, why not go to a specialist? Right? So you would make the, as my doctor, you would make the recommendation for me, hey, listen, this is going on, you need to go, you make the recommendation or do I just do the research because I, and just start looking? Mm -hmm. How does that work? So you, you first, you make the appointment. You do your research also if you can. Find out who's a specialist in this area. You don't go to the grocery store to get the nicest flowers, you go to a florist, right? <laughs> well, right. Want to go. Yeah, but that, and that's what I wonder right. too, is the nicer facility going to be the better treatment? I mean, do you have to go mm -hmm. four or five stars to get four mm -hmm. or five star treatment? It's, you know, why not use a specialist if you can? And it's hard to figure out what really a specialist means. Mm -hmm. Someone who's had advanced training and, and specialty training just in that area, but also the facilities, the technology. Not all breast centers are going to have 3D mammography and MRI. Well, let's talk about breast length then, because it is a comprehensive mm -hmm. breast center. What mm -hmm. is the difference with that facility? Mm -hmm. It's, it's really unique. It's really special because we, we not only do all the imaging, we have the latest imaging. We have the most advanced technology for imaging biopsy diagnosis. We also have our surgeons in-house. So myself, as well as several other surgeons, are the same area. So if a radiologist finds something, they can say, come see our surgeon right now. You need an exam. We need to figure out what's going on. That's we, so much better than driving right. around town. Trying going to, to the yeah. oncologist. And, so you're saying that breast length, everything is in one Place. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would think that one of the first things, if I if I found a lump and my general practitioner said, well, go see a specialist, would one of those specialists be an oncologist? Not always, but it could be. Definitely you could start with an oncologist. Surgeons are a really good place to start okay. as well. So if you find a lump, the first thing you do is you need to get an x-ray, not so, a blood test, not a urine test, not, mm -hmm. it's x-ray first. Typically, with a lump, you want to do some kind of exam and imaging. Mm -hmm. So the physical exam is important, finding out the symptoms, finding out family history, but usually some form of imaging, an ultrasound, and maybe a mammogram, depending on how old you are. What do you recommend is the best way to go about doing the research to find a specialist? Because, you know, let's say someone has a really, you know, good health history and the most they've ever done is gone mm -hmm. to urgent care. Mm -hmm. What do they need to do? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of online resources, definitely. To, to is that credible, though? I mean, you go to, like, the Google. Yeah. Google. 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 Yeah, and yeah. really, they right. write, there's Yelp doctors right. now, and, mm -hmm. and you can read the reviews. Right. It's How hard to pick. It's so hard to pick, and it's hard to figure out what's really good. Look at the credentials of the of the doctors mm -hmm. you're going to. Look at the technology of the but place. But the credentials like, are so hard for most of us to understand uh, exactly. because we're not in that mm -hmm. environment regularly. Mm -hmm. I mean, if someone said, I remember just trying to find a general practitioner, they give you a list of a thousand doctors, and they go, here, pick one. I don't know the difference between mm -hmm. internists versus, you know, all the But you know, Jess, yeah. that, that's so advanced. Sometimes, you know, you're talking about the doctor, but Dr. Kwan, why don't you go back to the facility? Mm -hmm. That's really important. Yeah, I mean, people don't realize yeah, that. It's right, not just the doctor, but if you can have the best right. doctor, but they don't have all the technology that is in other places. How do I judge a facility? Is it mm -hmm. by its clean? Is it by it looks like mm -hmm. a hospital? Because I know breast length, 
looks like a, a resort. It's very welcoming. And so mm -hmm. your first inclination would be like, wow, but how do, how do I judge that it's sure. best for me? Now, sure. resort is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> good for else. Sure. You want a place that offers everything, everything you might possibly need. You don't want to go somewhere and, and then be told, oh, well, we don't have this here. You're going to have to go here to do that and then come back and we'll take care of you. And is that how most people are operating right now? It's Typically, you have to go from place to place. You're not going to find everything in one center. Your oncologist is certainly not going to be in the same place as a radiologist. Mm -hmm. That's very rare to find. Would you consider that piecemealing your treatment or piecemealing your... Well, all the parts have to come together, right. and they do for patients no matter Even where. Even when they're not under the same roof? They do come together, but it's harder. We even have our plastic surgeons in the same hospital, in the same office. So we, you know, we talk to each other regularly, even in the same room with a patient. We'll have one patient in a room, and all of us can come into that at the same time and talk to the patient or in, se in sequence so that we can coordinate care mm -hmm. together. Is that something that you guys often do? Do you get together and oh, yeah, talk to each other? Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are some of the innovative things breast length is doing? Because you are a one-stop shop for breast cancer. What are some of the kind of cutting edge things? Well, mm -hmm. Stacey, I want to address this after the break. break. Yeah, we'll talk more all about breast length. <laughs> when we come back, stay tuned.